Uh, good day. I'm Dr. Charmaine Scott, founder and chairperson for the Jamaica Down Syndrome Foundation. Down syndrome is a condition that has been around for many years, over 150 years, when it was first described by a Dr. John Langdon Down. At the time, he noticed certain features that were typical of children with Down syndrome. But it wasn't until approximately 100 years later that the real cause of Down syndrome was identified by another physician. And he noted that there was an extra chromosome that is on the 21st pair, instead of having two chromosomes, the cells of persons with Down syndrome have an extra chromosome on the 21st pair. It is for this reason that the condition is also called trisomy 21. And it is a play on this that World Down Syndrome Day it has been selected as March 21st. March being the third month of the year and of course the 21st day. So trisomy 21 is represented on World Down Syndrome Day, March 31st. This day is to help us to bring awareness to the condition and in so doing, we can have a chat with uh, persons, educating them about the condition, educating them about what people with Down syndrome can do, and asking them to invite them into mainstream activities, mainstream education, employment, empowering the community of persons living with Down syndrome. So we bring awareness to the condition on World Down Syndrome Day. Down Syndrome International, a part of which we are um, have been invited to join, actually celebrate World Down Syndrome Day by um, asking people to wear socks, odd socks, socks that might bring attention to you. Um, and in so doing, uh, Corporate Jamaica can in fact have campaigns within their spheres and invite people to wear socks and probably make a donation to the foundation by so doing on that day. We at the foundation will be, we've been invited to the Norman Manley International Airport on that day. And we'll be having a booth where we'll be sharing information about Down syndrome and the foundation. And we will have um, the, the ability to actually um, interact with the staff and also um, guests at the um, facility on that day. We do have a website. You may visit our website, which is downsyndromejamaica.org. You may email us at jamaicadownsyndrome at cwjamaica.com. You may call us at 876-978-0829 or follow us on Facebook, Jamaica Down Syndrome Foundation or Instagram, JA Down Syndrome. We currently have a Helping Hands campaign and we invite you please to, to join us in, in donating funds to help us with our many programs to help the communities of persons living with Down syndrome in Jamaica. Now you may go to the Helping Hands website and search for Jamaica Down Syndrome Foundation and see the link or simply go to any of our social media um, platforms and the link will be there. You click on it and make a donation. The life expectancy of a person living with Down syndrome has now increased to 60 from early infancy over the years. And the reason for this is that there has been um, interventions, early interventions, timely interventions in the health issues as well as their educational capacity from early on. As a result, we now have persons with Down syndrome who are working and are able to take care of themselves or at least in shared living. Um, and so you'll find them, we have people who are models, we have an artist um, among our um, members. And in fact, she will be displaying some of our artwork at the airport on Monday the 21st. We have persons who work in restaurants and so on. So once you, we, 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 have, we can't cure the condition, but by the early intervention, we can prepare them as individuals who can contribute to society. One of our, uh, one of our directors is actually a person living with Down syndrome.